Are you aware of any um, activities in the video game world? I mean, are they trying to bring that, the gaming technology here? Um, yes, I'm, I'm, a, I'm aware of some. It is really just getting off the ground. But two years ago, at the same time that the legislature created the sound recording tax credit, and at the same time that they rewrote the film credit, they created a new credit for digital media with the goal of attracting video game developers to come and set up shop in Louisiana. And really, that is probably the one that has the best potential, I think, way more so than, than, the, than the sound recording credit in terms of doing what the traditional economic developers look for, and that's create jobs. Right. Stable, permanent, full-time, year-round jobs. Right. The movie business, it's taken a long time for the people who administer the credits at the state level to get the state economic development types that they report to, to get them to understand and wrap their heads around the fact that these jobs are temporary jobs right. and that the people who work in the industry are basically freelancers and they're, they're migratory. They go from job to job and they go where the jobs are. Right. That shoots us in the foot to a certain extent because the people at the highest level who make the decisions, they still are smokestack people. They, they right. only get heavy industry, if it, unless it's something that involves big pollution and, and lots of construction jobs and then lots of permanent full-time jobs afterwards, they don't really get it. So this temporary worker kind of thing, freelancer stuff, that goes right over their heads. With the, with, with the video game development, those are full-time jobs permanent year-round jobs. So if, if PlayStation were to open a, a location in Louisiana, they would very carefully select a city where their workers would have good schools for their children to go to and where there's lots of parks and other kinds of amenities where they could have a comfortable lifestyle. And then they would go out and hire two or 300 people and pay them $80,000 a year. So that is real growth opportunity from the traditional economic development mindset. Now, at the state office in, in the Department of Economic Development where they administer these different tax credits, they're taking one of their staffers and they're turning him loose on Silicon Valley. And he's going to be going there and really pitching these tax credits in a very hard way to try to get people to do exactly that, to come here, to reload their, re relocate their companies here or start new companies here as opposed to doing it in California. So, so I th I, of all of them, I think that's the one that has the biggest growth potential. The movie thing, already tremendously successful, but we're going to have to watch our backs because now every state yeah. in the country is coming up with competitive credits. And so, so the industry could evaporate like that as soon as New Mexico comes up with something more, more attractive, which, oh, they're, they're, which they're working on. Yeah. Um, but the, the digital media thing, we've got that all to ourselves. There's nobody really doing that. So if we can attract a few companies and create a few hundred jobs, that are high-paying jobs, um, that'll be a real feather in our cap.